The following is for entertainment purposes only. We are not financial advisors. We are not responsible for any losses, only the profits. What's happening, Optimum Nation? We are headed to the moon. Momentous SRAC update. Is a stock moon shooting? I think it's about to. I think it will. Check this out. Lockheed Martin. You heard of them? LockheedMartin.com. Comes out with an article. Was it, uh, less than a week ago and said cryogenic fluid management is a key tipping point technology to get humans to the moon mars and beyond to infinity and beyond minister jim bridstein announced a 370 million dollar investment with 14 u.s partners that will demonstrate the mature space technologies to help forge a path to sustainable artemis operations to the moon as a recipient of $89.7 million contract from this tipping point solicitation, Lockheed Martin will complete an in-space demonstration mission using liquid hydrogen, the most challenging of the cryogenic propellants. This allows us and our partners to test more than one dozen cryogenic fluid management technologies over the next five years. We have a long-term vision for sustainable growth and exploration development at the moon and beyond. And we're excited to accelerate our efforts with a new NASA partnership, said Joe Landon. Lockheed Martin, Vice President of Advanced Programs Development for Commercial Civil Space, we're also th thrilled to work with several innovative commercial partners on this mission. Our teammates in this trailblazing chirogenic <laughs> fluid management demo mission include Momentus, which will support the chirogenic payload on its Vigoride orbital transfer vehicle and relativity relativity space, which will launch the mission on its Turan-1 launch vehicle October 2023. We'll also work with Yeti Space and KT Engineering to complete this important mission. Understanding the chirogenic fuel management, by developing chirogenic hydrogen technologies, we'll be paving the future for sustainable lunar economy. Yes, chirogenic fluid management is foundational technology capable of enabling whole new class of space missions, such as advanced propulsion for human missions, to Mars and beyond. Sustainable exploration with existing assets like water, oxygen, and propellant from local deep sources, resource use and operations to support our national security missions. Interested in learning more? So this is really cool. So Lockheed Martin gets a contract and who do they call Momentus? First one they mention. You know, they're, they're talking about the propulsion and that was the big deal. What sold me on Momentus is the fact that they can use propulsion or do propulsion, move around with just water, water that they mine from asteroids, which is crazy. I guess they need one of those solar panel things that can pull water out of the atmosphere. I wonder if you can pull water out of the atmosphere in space too. Any, any phys physics gurus out there might know that. I bet you can, if you could do it on earth, I bet you could do it there. This might be a little bit heavier for a mechanism. Here's another article, space travel company Momentus catches Adams Jonas eye ahead of public listing. This is on Seeking Alpha. It said to review, space travel companies Momentus is to come public via a merger in early 2021 with space SPAC stable road acquisition. As part of this company's space disruptor series, Morgan Stanley's Adam Jonas takes a look. He noted the company has a rideshare relationship with SpaceX. That's a good way to put it an Uber relationship with SpaceX. <laughs> and first major catalyst, says Jonas, is December 18th, with the launch of the company's Virga Ride and SpaceX's Falcon. Worth keeping an eye on Stable Road shares today, as notable calls notes Virgin Galactic Space rose sixfold following Jonas initiating coverage in December of last year. So what does this mean? This dude Jonas, I don't think he's one of the, the triplets. Maybe he's a quad, quadruplet of the Jonas Brothers. I don't know. Uh, last time he was talking about space, the Virgin Galactic, that thing started flipping, started making people money. So this is good. This is the guy we want talking about because a lot of space nuts still have no idea who Momentus is. And if they do, they have no idea that they are on the stock market now. Right? So that's why this is kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. So Momentus has been tweeting too. You know, they've been putting some information out. They said, we are proud to announce today that the Momentus will support the Kepler Comms Gen 1 constellation. This is a great use case for Virga Rides, LTAN, LTDN adjustment capabilities. Got another article here. 
Today we are sharing news of a service agreement with support from Kepler Communications Gen 1 Constellation, built entirely at Kepler's production facility in Toronto. The Gen 1 platform represents an evolution beyond Kepler's Pathfinder satellite with an increase in size to a 6UXL bus. Increased size accommodates many technology enhancements, including additional power and antenna capabilities that allow the support of both KU and narrowband spectrum from a single satellite. So they're helping bigger stuff get up and around and move around in space, which is huge because now they can take more things with them because they can just attach them to the rockets like they were shown on those big, huge rockets. And now they can move those separate things around up in space. This thing's awesome. We just ride share service for 20 to 21 for Kepler will include launch provisions and delay delivery to a desired orbital altitude while maintaining the SSO inclination using momentous Vigoride transfer vehicle. The Gen 1 platform supports both Kepler's global data service, a wide band high capacity data service, and everywhere low T, a narrow narrow band solution for the internet of things applications. It's crazy. So it's fully all connected to help spread satellite, everything for communications and IOT satellites, local time and ascending descending node is important in terms of offering fleet coverage diversity so that the satellites operator can offer data and analytics over a variety of times. Once in orbit, momentous bigger ride transfers vehicles can change the LTDN, LTAN of a spacecraft deployed by using precision, a change in the orientation of the rotational axis of the rotating body. <laughs> so it can grab a spacecraft and say, go that way. <laughs> Kepler will be a prominent customer for Momentus LTAN shift service as they build out their collection. Momentus is proud to be supporting Kepler Communications and indirectly the space team flight laboratory in Toronto, where over 20 years of flight heritage have gone towards developing the new generation of satellites that will deliver a dramatic improvement on global data service. So this is about like data, right? I don't know, this is like satellite phones or satellite internet? <laughs> Not sure, satellites do all sorts of stuff, um, but regardless, this is crazy. You know, I mean, this is just another partner they're partnering with. So we got a Lockheed Martin partnership, Lockheed Martin partnership, and now we've also got this Kepler one outside of Canada. So now I also got the Canada in there. This is huge. You know, I think that they're going to continue getting more and more of these contracts. Dude, once that Tesla thing gets closer in December 18th and the Tesla boys start hearing about this, I think it'd be really cool. <laughs> I think it'd be really cool. How's it going? How's it going on the stock? Well, we topped out about $11 and now it's just been kind of just decaying a little bit. Right now, it's sitting about 1050. I think the warrants are, have been a little bit jumpy, though. They've been going up. Yeah, see, the warrants got all the way up to 1075 today, actually, all time highs today, 1075. Ended, ended the day at 251. They actually bottomed at 242, but they caught. So we got a little flag here, and they caught and started riding back up. And that's definitely all time highs. Where are we sitting? It, it looks like we're sitting in a bull trend. Did we pass? We we didn't completely fill this gap, and then we've you know we've got another gap here that we could end up filling at some point down to two. But I think I got into this one just to write it, just in case it heads to the moon. And so you know maybe the Tesla boys start finding out about it on a Tesla forum or something, and then just five X's. You know I don't know. It could I don't see why not. One of the coolest space stocks out there right now that no one knows about still. So what do you guys think? Are you already in this one? Are you planning on getting in now maybe? Or just later going to wait till X amount of time? Or maybe till it gets closer to the Tesla thing and it's already FOMO time? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe the commons um, could be slightly, you know, well, yeah, they're definitely safer right now because they're sitting by the floor. But, you know, because this thing did launch around like 50 cents-ish. <laughs> Because of the sector they're going after, there's no love at first. But regardless, what do you all think? If you all haven't subscribed, please do it. It definitely helps out the channel. If you haven't joined our Patreon, please do it. We definitely help you out by helping us out. We slide you deals, you know, random charts before we even do videos and let you know what videos are about. A lot of times there's something important going on. 
I'll let you all know first. If you wouldn't mind sharing this video with your friends, it definitely helps out. Please give us a thumbs up. It also helps out the channel. Y'all take care. Did you know that we give away free silver? Simply leave a comment on the video, and as long as you're in the continental United States, you can be automatically entered to win. Please friend us on Twitter and StockTwits.